Okay, we're going to be doing a uh, activity on your computer today. Uh, you get the handout. It um, has a front with instructions and on back with a chart that you're just going to copy some information down then you don't have to carry your book around. If you read it, you go to figure 3.2 on page 161 of your textbook. And in the teacher's book, this is what the chart looks like. It is a budget for a family. Uh, if you look at the chart I handed you, not all the information from this budget is to be copied on the handout, but that's okay. We're just trying to show you the steps. So, take your chart and you flip it over, and there is a chart and it asks you to fill it in. Okay, so for the monthly amounts. Gives you the category and the monthly amount. You're going down. You notice at the bottom though, it gives you four annual amounts and asks you to calculate the uh, monthly amount because we're going to only graph the uh, monthly amount. Okay, so you get this copy down, head over to your computer, and once you do that, we are going to uh, set up your computer. Uh, Let's see if we can get this here. Okay, I'm going to set up the computer and you're going to log on to Microsoft Office Excel. If you don't have it on the bottom down here of the, uh, if you don't have it on the bottom of the uh, toolbar here like I do what you can do is you can hit the little blue circle on Windows Office 2010 and you do a search for Excel in the search bar sir okay Excel E X S E C E L and it'll pull it up and you just find the one that you're looking for and you click on it and it'll open up. Now this is a blank spreadsheet. There's nothing here other than the spreadsheet. Okay, let's we'll see if we can get this to stay without major issues here. from not having the proper equipment to record. Okay, we'll keep it at the top. Do this one-handed if I have to. Okay. On your handout that I gave you, it tells you to Type the word category at the top and dollar amount and sell B1 and A1. Okay, so we're going to type in A1, we're going to type category, and we're going to type dollar amount. Okay, do not worry that there's an overlap in the next column. We're not going to really care about that at this point. What we're going to do is we are going to go under the category. And from your handout, you're just going to type the categories that I gave you. Okay, so we have food slash groceries. And for that is $275. You notice the groceries kind of disappears, that's okay. We're going to fix that in a little bit. Next one is electricity. For $70. We're going to have heating. For $65. And again, don't worry, but there's no dollar sign. We're going to fix this in a little bit. Heating. Phone internet and cable and 
that is $95 a month. Okay, then we have water. And that is $12 a month. We have gasoline and oil. And that's car oil, motor oil. There are different types of oil. So keep track of this, $115 a month. We have parking. Now in your book it shows no expense for parking, okay? But you still have to leave the category and give it a zero because there's nothing there. We also have tolls. Okay, these are expenses you have for your job. Again, no tolls. We have clothing. You have to set aside get clothing for your business and whatever. You have to replace it on a periodic basis. We have credit card bills, credit card payments. If you charge things, not a recommendation, but if you do, you got to pay them back. And it's $110. We have newspapers and gifts. Yes, people still buy newspapers. And we're going to put so $45 a month for that. Okay. We have pocket money. You have to keep track of all your money. doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And because you may want to coke in the middle of the day. You don't want to have to budget it. So you got the money budgeted. Movies and theater which would not be movies would be like live shows and things like that go to a concert uh, $35 okay sporting events basketball football baseball curling whatever you'd like to do I'm sorry this is bouncing around I do not have a bracket to hold it there so I'm just doing this manually Dining out, McDonald's or something more expensive. Okay, uh, rent or mortgage. You can, if you rent, you can leave the mortgage part off or whatever. But this is a generic category, so that's what I'm doing. A car loan, you're buying your car. Okay, savings. You should have a category for put money in the savings. Um, that doesn't mean you're going to spend it later. You should be able to save it. And then life insurance. Now, these are the annual ones. So, what we're going to do is a little bit different here, and I'll show you here in a second the category but instead of putting it under that column go over a couple and put life insurance how much it costs per year okay and same thing with home or renters insurance again if you're buying it would be home insurance if you are renting it would be renters insurance you wouldn't actually have both and again since this is an annual expense you'd put it over under this column here which we're going to do and then we have car insurance okay, and then the last column is charitable and you can do this monthly or you can but you're going to use it mostly for uh, coming out every year for tax purposes and whatever um, you just wanting to make sure that you have it recorded and then again what you get now gonna do a couple things here real quick go back to the top we're gonna select the two columns of data we actually want A and B up on the hand bar we're gonna go to format excuse me I apologize didn't go far enough over. Format, auto fit column, 
and you notice everything widens out where you want it to be, okay? Nothing, things aren't overlapped again. Now we want to do something with the numbers, okay? So what we're going to do is just highlight just the column with the numbers. And we're going to go back over to Format. And we're going to do a Format. And we're going to Format a cell, which is the box. And we want to make it a currency, which is dollar bills. We'll make sure it's got a dollar sign and two decimals. We're going to OK that. And you'll notice it all showed up dollar bills and everything is wonderful. But we're still missing the monthly payments for these four columns, okay? So what we're going to do is go into the actual column for month, hit the equal sign, which is we are going to put a formula there. And the formula is going to be take this number and divide by 12 months a year and it will automatically calculate it for you. You don't have to do the math. We're then going to copy, control C, and we are going to paste and now we have them, okay? So we have all the information we want. Now, next step, this is where we are now. We're going to highlight what we want to graph. We want to graph the categories, but we don't, want to, we don't need the top, and we're going to graph the numbers. Okay? We're going to highlight those that we're going to graph. Go back up to the top row, and we're going to insert. I want a pie graph. You have six options for pie graphs. I normally do one of these two or one of these two. Let's go with this for now, okay? And it throws it in the middle of the worksheet you're working with. If you go up to the top, move chart, and then create a new sheet, it will create a new sheet, okay? Now, thing about a graph, you need to tell me what I'm graphing. Looking at that, I can't tell. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and you're going to come up with a title. These are the preset formats. Let's pick that one just for ha-ha's. It tells me what I'm graphing. Right now it's just a chart. But insurance and stuff like that. Going to highlight. And then we're going to say monthly budget. which is descriptive of what we're graphing. Okay. You'll notice when some of these tiles are in and some of them are out. The thing about Excel, it's wonderful, you grab it, pull it out, and it automatically has a line going to where you want it to go. So you can grab any of these and move them around. Okay. This is the bare minimum of what I need. Okay. Go back to up at the upper left. You're going to file, save as, find out where you want to select it, and save. And then you are done. Uh, in this case here, we would upload it to moodle.greatplains.edu just because. Okay? And that's it. Thank you very much.